to achieve success in life be sweet as honey be regular as clock be fresh as rose be soft as tissue and at the same time be strong as a rock welcome future doctors to the eighth tutorial of biology section from aipmt 2009 question paper i hope you all are fine and you all are working very hard to achieve your goal that is to crack neat 2018 so guys once again before starting the tutorial i would like to remind you if in any question you have any doubt or anything which is not clear you can ask me in the comment sections and if you have any kind of feedback or any suggestion you can give that in the comment section so without wasting any time we will start with question number 79 in this tutorial in the previous tutorial that is tutorial number 7 we started uh, sorry we ended at question number 78 so here is question number 79 global agreement in specific control strategies to reduce the release of ozone depleting substances was adopted by which of the following this all are very important points and it's a very easy question i hope you answer it so friends i hope you get the answer the right answer is option number 3 that is the montreal protocol the global agreement in specific control strategies to reduce the release of ozone depleting substances was adopted by the montreal protocol here you can see this is the blue portion which is usually called the ozone hole and montreal protocol was actually an international treaty between more than 20 countries including india in which it was decided on which are the substances to be banned or to be reduced to protect the ozone layer and the rest three options that is the vienna convention it was also an international treaty which defines a framework of diplomatic relations between independent countries so it has nothing to do with the ozone layer the rio de janeiro was actually a conference which was held on world or the earth summit and it was based on sustainable development the kyoto protocol is also a protocol like the montreal protocol and it was actually an international agreement which just extends the un framework convention which was basically on climate change if you want you can read more about it so only the montreal protocol is important which is given in your ncert and some about rio de janeiro is also given so you can only go through these two the rest two are are not that important you can still read kyoto protocol but vienna convention is not at all important okay now moving on to the next question question number 80 that is soma clones are obtained by which of the following again a very easy question i hope you can answer it yes the right answer is option number 2 soma clones are obtained by tissue culture actually soma clones are nothing but plants produced by tissue culture which are same genetically like if you want to produce a uh, two plants which are genetically similar then you have to uh, take the tissue from the mother plant and you will go grow it in tissue culture and then grow them separately and these two plants will have same characteristics and as well as the same genetic constitution and these two plants will be called the soma clones so i hope this point is clear to you now we are moving on to the next question that is question number 81 question number 81 reads which one of the following is wrong pairing for the disease and its casual causal organism so i hope you can guess the answer actually it's the option number 2 the late blight of potato is not caused by alternaria solani but it is caught caused by phytophthora infestans here you can see this is what the late blight of potato does this is how it looks and the rest two options that is the root knot of vegetables in in this basically what happens is there is a formation of root knots in uh, knots like structure in the roots of the plants sorry i couldn't get the picture for black rust of wheat here this is what you see in black rust of wheat sorry 
here this that black part that you see is the black rust of wheat okay and the loose smut of wheat this is what happens in loose smut of wheat this structure of wheat becomes loose in structure and hence it's called the loose smut of wheat which is caused by estilago nuda all three points are correct only second one is wrong that's that is late blight of potato once again i'm repeating late blight of potato is caused by phytophthora infestans and not by alternaria solani so i hope it's clear to you now the next question that is question number 82 is which of the following is not used as a bio pesticide again a very important and very easy question So guys the right answer out of the four is option number 1 that is xanthomonas campestris actually it is not a bio pesticide whereas rest 3 are xanthomonas campestris is actually a bacteria which causes a variety of plant diseases for example black rot so i hope this point is clear to you now we are moving on to the next question that is question number 83 which reads Which of the following plant species you would select for the production of bioethanol? So, guys, to answer this question, you must be very well aware of the production of bioethanol. So, I hope you can answer this question. So, out of the four options, option number three, that is Z maize, is the correct answer. And why it is correct answer? The bioethanol that you heard was actually produced by the sugar fermentation process. so when it is produced by fermentation the crops which are required are actually energy crops which includes maize corn wheat crops and waste straw it etc so since wheat and all are not given in option so jetropa brassica and pongamia all three are wrong option the only crop which is a source of energy is option number 3 that is z maize and hence the answer Now we are moving on to the next question that is question number 84 which reads which of the following is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer I hope you answer this question so friends the right answer is option number 4 that is frankia actually what does we mean by symbiotic nitrogen fixation or fixer is the symbiotic nitrogen fixers are basically the bacteria which are found in the root of uh, legumes plant legume plants and what they do uh, these bacteria such as the rhizobium and the frankia they produce nitrogenous compounds that help the plant to grow and compete with other plants and when the plant dies this bacteria uh, this nitrogen is dissolved in the uh, soil and hence making the soil more fertilized and here you can see the nitrogen cycle remember this nitrogen cycle is play uh, plays a very important role in the fixation of nitrogen here in soil nitrogen pool nitrogen fixation takes place and guys this nitrogen cycle is very very important many of the questions can be formed from this cycle so please learn this cycle thoroughly now we will be moving on to the next question that is question number 85 a health disorder that results from the deficiency of thyroxine in adults and characterized by a low metabolic rate increase in body weight and tendency to retain water in tissues i hope you can answer this question so guys the right answer is option number 4 that is myxoedema as you can see the third point was retain tendency to retain water in tissues so in this condition what will happen swelling will be there in that particular organ and the biological term for swelling is edema and hence you can guess this point like this the myxoedema is the right answer here you can see the picture the tissue fluid is accumulated in this part and this is the myxoedema the rest three diseases the cretinism it basically uh, is a hypothyroidism developing in infancy or early childhood okay so before learning about cretinism you first know about what is hypothyroidism so in hypothyroidism what happens 
there is an underactive thyroid gland and due to that underactivity of thyroid gland the deficiency of iodine or the hormones like thyroxine which are required for our body decreases and it causes hypothyroidism and when this hypothyroidism occurs in early childhood or infant stage it is called as cretinism here you can see the symptoms the short stature severe mental retardation coarse facial features you can see this child's face protruding tongue here you see and umbilical hernia means when the umbilical cord is uh, cut there will be hernia that is it means basically a part of the umbilical cord which is cut from the body of the infant it will be protruding, protruding out or it will be just hanging outside so i hope you got it and the last one that is simple goiter is actually a deficiency of uh, iodine which results in this disease goiter basically in this this is what happens the thyroid gland is enlarged this butterfly shaped gland that is present in the neck region is enlarged in size and hence causing goiter i hope these points are clear to you now we are moving on to the next question that is question number 86 which reads which one of the following statement is correct so basically you have to read all these options and you have to tell which one of them is correct So guys the right answer is option number 1 that is malignant tumors which are also the cancerous tumors they may exhibit metastasis that is the tumor tumorous cells they can move from one place to another place causing cancer at that place too the rest three options are wrong the second option that reads patients with uh who have undergone surgery are given cannabinoids to relieve pain no this is wrong they are not given cannabinoids they are given morphine which is actually opioid the third point that is benign tumors show the property of metastasis no this is wrong benign tumors are normal tumors and they do not show metastasis the fourth point that is heroin accelerates body functions no this is wrong heroin actually a depressant and it slows down body functions so no heroin does not accelerate body functions but it slows down the body functions now the next question question number 87 it's a very easy question which of the following is a pair of viral diseases a very easy question i hope you can answer it Okay, so guys, I even though I know that your answer is right, still I would answer it. The right answer is option number three, that is common cold and AIDS are the pair of viral diseases out of the four options. And why the rest three options are wrong? Out of typhoid and tuberculosis, typhoid is caused by Salmonella typhi, which is actually a bacteria. Ringworm and AIDS, ringworm is caused by a fungus. dysentery is called by caused by amoeba which is of course not a virus now okay so this is where the tutorial ends i hope you liked it and once again let me remind you if you have got any doubt just ask me in the comment section i will surely reply it and if you have any feedback and any suggestion please do give it in the comment section and for the rest you can just follow my unacademy profile if you like this tutorial to practice more number of questions so bye see you in the next tutorial